would you rather? Now, Mike, you said guilt or horror. horror. Do tell. All right. So, would you rather be one of a hundred slaves or own a hundred slaves yourself? Now, in what world wow. does this exist? So, what is like the parameters of the situation for both cases? A dystopian well, world. Let you guys. <laughs> let you guys use your imagination on it. So you create your you create your scenario. Yeah. Or scenario if you're an asshole. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go right <laughs> off the bat. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be the owner. One hey. number one. No one says I have to like treat them like crap. Right, uh, I can theoretically like I they'll mean, still be my slaves. Te- technically, they're butlers. Then yeah, yeah. they're still they're still wor- well. They're not getting paid. They're basically in. Dun- I would assume with your situation, you still have the stigma of the fact that you own an alien world comes, and that you're either the king of a hundred aliens, <laughs> or you're a bitch to a hundred aliens, <laughs> and you have to make that decision. I mean, I don't really like. I mean, I know I just said, like, think of it your own way, but I don't really like the <laughs> thought of that because people automatically will, I don't know, if it's not humans, then yeah, you won't really yeah. have too much guilt you about it. You mean you won't dehumanize? We dehumanize, I mean, some, exactly. some people, it might be the same, but I feel like a lot of people, it wouldn't matter too much to them. I agree. I think I, most people I would. instantly think of Mad Max. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather be... And you don't technically have to be evil, but if you exactly that's the big thing. But like that situation, that dystopian world in which you're either a dude with a stick sitting and waiting for water to pour out of no. the f- mountain face thing, or be a dude that has to wear a face mask with <laughs> a ch- ch- chest guard or the fuck of, it looks like a. I don't know why it, I it, it looked it. like a dirt bike chest protector. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it was. Actually. Yeah. Very well, could have been. So that's, I mean, that's how I think of it. But, the, and that, I don't know. Obviously, I feel like you wouldn't want to be it's, it's, yeah. one of the slaves. The only, the only like saving grace for that is if I'm going to be the one to lead an uprising. Sure. Yeah. To strike them down. See, there's a, a hero. A very, because at first I was like, and now you just got me thinking, I was like, there's no reason to be the slave. Well, but, but, like you know, you lead the uprising, or if you go off Nick's thing, where you do have an awesome thing, so you're basically if you have an awesome slave owner, you're just working. No, you're just working, not getting paid for it. Oh dear. Oh, you aren't. You're oh, also yeah. probably not getting any like education or anything. Another situation came to mind. Did you ever see Snowpiercer? No. See what? I'm sorry. No, Snow I actually piercing. always wanted to see that. Though. Dude, that's watch. On, that's first like of all, the, the, watch that. That's like on a. It takes place on a train, right? Yeah, it's like the end of the world, and oh, I they created a bits and pieces of that. A um. Spoilers. Oh, what the hell was the technology that they used to? There was a an engine that would just <laughs> consistently run. Bless you. They, <laughs> they created a train track that literally, that the length of the track was like. I think it was one full year or something like that that they would be driving around on this train. So every time you passed a certain point, you knew another year had passed or something like that. But literally, the, the whole world had frozen over. So you, and the only is... thing that was running was this train and the people on it. You have my attention now. <laughs> so there was like a dude, the people at the back were like treated like shit or whatever. Oh, really? And they lead, they tried to lead in a, yeah, an, uprising. an uprising to get to the front of the train. And it was so like trippy and crazy, and it was awesome. But that's what I picture myself being: is Chris Evans in that film? <laughs> Chris Evans leading is the that? charge. Yeah, Dude. the Captain America. Rosa Parks make an appearance. Who? The back Rosa of the train. Parks. Kevin doesn't know who Rosa Parks was. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, t- we're talking about two different <laughs> forms of transportation here. I give you a fun fact: Kevin names most of his fictional characters and her items Snowpiercer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still, still piercing. Oh, still. Okay, that was close. From destiny. Yeah. Oh, the all right. The other thing that I was saying, like, I don't really know about you two, but Nick, I know you're pretty religious. So how does that affect your outcome on the afterlife? Well, again, like the big thing is, if I'm stuck between owning the slaves, you're still a, a slave owner, though. Yeah. So all the stigma, still a bad all, but that's that's. Also arbitrary. What are the situ- what's the situation that I'm forced to be the slave owner? 
Because in theory, I would just let I mean, the slaves not, go. You're not forced. You could be a slave if you want to. Well, I wouldn't want to be a slave. <laughs> but I also wouldn't want to be a slave owner, obviously. But if I was forced to pick between the two, you know, like at gunpoint or world point or whatever, however we want to paint the picture, I have to choose. Do you want to be an owner? Or do you the want to be a slave? The definition of a slave is a person who is the legal property of another and is forced to obey them. So you literally own other people. Yeah, I know, and that's what I'm. I'm. I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. Between the two, the the slave owner obviously sounds a lot better, but it's just that's even, why I, that's why I just tease it as guilt or horror. You but know? the thing is, yes. if I was forced between the two, I wouldn't feel guilty as long as I were still treating those people like sure the legal definition. They would be my property, but if I was still treating them like I would treat any employee that I had, if I was a boss, for instance then I wouldn't have trouble sleeping at night, especially if the alternative but was no matter, being someone's But no matter how good jockey. you treat them, though, they, I mean, That's what I'm, they I, still hate you. I know what he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah. and I get both sides because I, I still haven't committed to a side yet. Yeah. But at the end of the day, as nice as you treat people, that they are your property. <laughs> Again, like, it's not a, my choice. Which is which such is, like an odd thing for us to... Even think about fathom, or... Yeah. You know? Understand, given. yeah. Yeah, but History. I got history. Yeah, bullshit. All that bullshit. I have. I have to say though, if it's not my choice, you know, like if, if I'm not allowed to let them go, I'd rather be the owner and treat them as nicely as possible. I wouldn't have any guilt knowing the circumstances. Knowing the circumstances. Now, if I had done that for 20 years, and then one day they were like, "You can let them go," and I had warped my perception over that 20 years to be like, "Oh, I give them a good life. They can give me the next 20 years," then I would say that would be morally wrong. Yeah. But a priori, if I were to let them go the day I was allowed to let them go, I'd let them go. Mike, you brought this guilt or horror topic to our attention. What was your answer? Or what did you think you were going to pick? I have no idea. <laughs> You're stuck? Still listening. I yeah. tell you right now, every would you rather I bring, I don't really come in with an answer. Because yeah. usually when we talk, there comes another There's good facet point, of maybe. information that comes out of it. I just... Uh, it is a. It really is guilt or horror. I would Be, lead the uprising. <laughs> yeah, snow piercer, steel exactly. piercer. S- no, everyone Sno- needs to watch. S- moral of this topic: <laughs> Go watch S- snow piercer. Snow piercer. Should that just be the JPEG Jesus for YouTube? <laughs> snow piercer. That, movie, that movie caught me so off guard. Out of nowhere. Yeah, it was amazing. No, because I've seen it a million. It's on Netflix, right? It might. It was. I don't know if it's still. Yeah, I've I've seen it on there a million times. I'm pretty sure, and like always, like passed by it. But it always sounded so interesting. (laughs) But then it didn't have like good reviews, and like I'm Uh all the haters. Like I hate that. Like I go off for reviews so much because I I think you. I think you'd like it now. Yeah, I think you'd like it. Doesn't Infinite Warfare have like side note? Doesn't Infinite Warfare have like two stars or something? Because people were really upset that it was meshed with COD 4. No, I think it was, critically it was well received. I'm pretty sure. I mean, maybe because the campaign is very maybe good. Because that's a direct. That's, yeah, thing sorry. Of the fan. Yeah, that's like a yeah, direct the form fan for review. The fan. Oh, the fan review. That's I'm what I'm sure. Mean, yeah, critically, sorry. no. Yeah. The campaign apparently is really good. But um. So you have two slave. Uh, no, slave owner, slave. But referring to it like that is so weird, though. I mean, Saying slave owner, yeah. <laughs> like just we just. I, I mean, te- you own slaves, yeah. By definition, we have to keep in mind too. We're side complete side note, but related to the main topic. We're not disparaging the history that has occurred throughout yeah, the no, world this is our in any way. This is our own is dystopian conversation. Strictly about yeah, interesting. Just to put that out there, about. it's you and the first. 100 people in proximity, the closest 100 yeah. people, and whatever the fuck that is. I like both of your fucking avenues here. I had the, the upriser <laughs> and then being good, the but at the end of the day, leader. you're still a cock. <laughs> like, there's no other way around that. You still own people as property. Not by choice. I think I'm going to go with Kevin. And be one of the slaves because at the end of the day, I feel like there would at least be, I would have friends that way because we're in a similar situation. There's a hundred of us, and then at the end of the day, you're still owning people. Songs together, you could, you could, hopefully play video games if you have a nice person like Nick. But who knows? You could have a very evil person. You could have a terrible someone that basically you're chained to like fifty pound weights all day. I just don't. Even if I treated them good, I don't know if I could feel. 
good knowing that they're still my property, even if I gave them the world. Well, well again, also, let's look at it like like I'm just putting this in there. Like, let's make it that you have these slaves, and like, yeah, you could be nice to them, but say like you you basically you have a business to run through them. So like, and shit needs to get done. Yeah, so you still need to meet your quotas so, like, and demands. You still and... gotta like. Um, I don't want to say what I was about to say. Yeah, <laughs> but they, 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 you need for, them to work. For a lack of better words, you got to crack the whip. Yeah. Oh god. But, yeah. <laughs> and no, I understand. I know it's what you're just saying. Yeah. It's just yeah, you still have to get shit done. So where is the play Who says involved? I have to, in? Yeah, that's What's the consequence. That's for the sake of you making yeah. your decision. The difference between the two choices is having control over your actions situation. And... Whereas, like, if you say you choose to be the one that's enslaved, it's you don't know what situation you're yeah. going to be thrust into. Whereas if you pick to be the person in charge, you control it. You can control how, what you're doing and what, yeah. you know, what kind of business or I guess. Whatever. If this, if this happened tomorrow, I'd like to believe that it would be someone like Nick, but I guess you never know. People change when they get power. Yeah, yeah I don't think you would never imagined you saying that. I would. I think Nick would make your life a living hell. No, no, <laughs> oh, no, per, oh, yeah, no, no. But in honest to God, like yeah. his thinking, yeah. I guess. I highly, I think the opposite. I think people take advantage of power very strongly. It very I, easily I, could happen. I think, I think you'd be more likely to get someone terrible than you would what be with someone the, benevolent. What was the whole thing in? I think it was in Afghanistan where they like. They did like some kind of uh, test or some shit where they had um they had U.S. soldiers like it was like a shut down prison. Did you guys ever watch this? Did you guys ever take uh, Mr. Marx's class? No, I think we watched it in there. But it was like it was U.S. soldiers that were in this prison and they did like this study kind of where like half of them were prisoners and then the half were like prison guards and like it was supposed to just like it was friendly at first like kind of normal and then it got like fucking disgusting just because like they were like stripping them down naked and like humiliating people because still at the end of the day they still had their roles that they were supposed to fulfill Mm -hmm. so it was fucking the job got the best of them so yep even off that i am picking slave michael yeah, we'll be the uprisers. Uprising against Nick. <laughs> That's against Nick. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Oh my god. What? I don't want slaves anyway. Would you do guilt or horror? Nick picks guilt. We all pick horror. I'm not guilty. There you are. Mike said that was the topic, so you are guilty. We will be back with our do you know question right after this. Thank you guys for watching or listening. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash foreplay video. If you like what we're doing, make sure to smash that like button. Be sure to share all our videos with your friends so we can uh, continue to grow. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.